Hello there, welcome to the tutorial on how to set up the Zoom environment. And I hope you've been enjoying our video tutorials. Please go ahead, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, enable the notification button so they get to be notified when your content are uploaded. Also like our videos and share with friends and families. The Zoom platform has gained tremendous popularity, an amazing increase in the number of users uh, within a very short time. And the number keep scarrogating on a daily basis. Um, we can see that Zoom now prides itself as the leader in the modern enterprise video conferencing uh, communications with an easy, reliable cloud platform for video and audio conferencing, chat, and webinars. So in this tutorial, I'll guide you through the simple process of setting the Zoom meeting environment to host your business meetings, webinars, remote classrooms, talks, video calls, or whatever meetings you want to have using the Zoom platform. So to get started, you can use the Zoom platform on your personal computer or on your smartphone. So if you want to use it on your smartphone, you can use a browser on your phone or you download the Zoom client app from the Play Store and then you install on your device. Okay. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to set up the Zoom uh, platform for your meeting using a web browser. And I will also explain how that works with Zoom because it is the same process and it's very easy to set up. So I'll show you simple steps on how to get that done within a few minutes. You'll be hosting meetings or you get invited to join a Zoom meetings. So um, Zoom allows you two options to join a meeting uh, if you have been invited with a link or you can host a meeting by um, by using the voice off or voice on or by screen sharing. We can actually host a meeting with these three um, buttons. So to join a meeting, you tap on join a meeting. And then it opens up a box asking you to type your meeting ID or personal link name which um, must have been given to you or must have been generated so to join a meeting you need a, an 11 digits number like you can see me type 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and that number must have been given to you by the host of the meeting if you are joining then you tap on join and then when you click, click on join um, it loads up and shows you the environment telling you if not if nothing prompts from the browser download and run zoom so then it tells you download should start automatically in a few seconds now it has downloaded the clients for me so um, i don't want to use a zoom clients um, i don't want to join a meeting i want to set up a meeting so if I, what do i do i go to host meeting and then I choose any of the options with video off or video on or share screen. Let me start with video on. And then it opens up asking me to sign in um, with my email address or password uh, if I have an account with Zoom or otherwise. So I don't have a want to sign up free. Uh, the signing up process is simple and it's free. So quickly, it wants to verify my date of birth. And then ask me to key in my date of birth, which I have to select my month, February. Just choose anything for the purpose of this demonstration. Okay, select any dates, any year I want to use. And then I click on continue. Um, I can sign up with any of these accounts, my SSO, uh, with Facebook or with Gmail accounts. Uh, any of these I can use to so sign up if I choose or I use a new um, account or username to sign in. Let me quickly sign up with my Gmail account and then it tells me we've sent an email to the email address. So what I need to do is to go to my email address and then um, click on the confirm link. So the moment I click on that, it takes me to this page as saying, are you signing up on behalf of a school? I said no. Then I tap on continue. So if I were signing up for a school, the obvious response will be yes. Once that has gone, then it brings up um, a form for me to fill, asking me for my first name, my last name, my password, and for me to confirm the password. So I quickly enter my details. Okay. 
all right now for the password um there are rules that govern the password first of all must be at least eight characters okay must be at least eight characters that's the length and then must have at least one letter um, lowercase uppercase and a number okay so um let me sign up key in my password and i confirm the password and hit continue then brings up another form asking me to invite others okay this is an optional form so i can choose to invite or to skip so i say let's skip this step all right then it generates um personal meeting url for me okay so i click on start meeting now and then it says one system dialog prompts click open zoom meetings it says one system dialog prompts click open zoom meetings okay now if you look down it says if you have zoom client installed launch meeting otherwise download and run zoom now i have downloaded the client but i don't want to use i want to use a browser to test so it tells me join from your browser so i tap join from your browser because i want to use my browser to join so i click on join and then it starts joining and then it begins to link me up with the meeting environment and then opens up so it gives me option to join audio by computer and then i tap there so it brings my name john Effion, and then with a list of icons and settings we are going to explore shortly first you can mute or unmute your microphone okay and then you can also do up some other settings like um, enabling the microphone if you allow it means um, it's able to use your system microphone you can enable your camera uh, so that you can be seen then something very important here um, the security parts of your meeting to ensure that people don't bump into the environment so you can lock your meeting to prevent people from joining once the meeting starts okay it's a security feature which has to be enabled um i tap there and then i have enabled it okay there are other features up to um so i will show you how that works you can actually disable that lock meeting if you don't want it or uh, then the other feature is um, um waiting room waiting room allows people who are trying to join to go to the waiting room asking you for permission to join the meeting uh, it's a way of preventing um bombing uh, people bumping into your meeting without invitation all right the other thing is that you can see the number of participants who are um, actually in the room or in the meeting who are attending the meeting at that time okay so for now i'm the only person attending the meeting so you can also um, do other setups here you can mute everyone you can enable uh, muting and other features you might want to set up um, on the meeting. The options are very simple. You just tick on anyone you want to enable or disable as the case may be. So let's close this and see. All right, let's explore more um, settings. All right, here. All right, so if you click on more, you see that you can actually do more. You can disable video um, receiving. Yeah, maybe you don't want to watch people. You just want to listen. Okay, you can enable chat, like group chat, like I've dropped a message hi. Now everyone that is in a meeting will get to see the message. Okay, I close that. Then there are other things we can do here. All right, it shows how many participants can you allow um, at once. All right, to share their screen one or multiple so the choice is yours depending on what you want to achieve so i can share my screen by tapping here and then there are three options i can share my entire screen i can share application window i can share a tab then just tap anyone and click on share then it goes up
all right uh, further features we can see you can see the description of the participants i mean per person this is for me so for yourself you tap on the left and uh, the left uh, and corner of your screen you will see some features about yourself there so those are the simple um, things you need to see i want to leave the meeting uh, after everything you want to exit the meeting is very simple the tools are easy just tap on leave meeting it brings up um, a dialog box asking you to either end the meeting or leave the meeting with explanation uh, so if you leave the meeting others can continue if you end it means the meeting ends okay so uh, for us we we'll just tap on end meeting and then it brings up to this page so basically that's um, a simple uh, guide on how to use the zoom platform for your meetings it's very easy the tools are easy to navigate and to use i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please if you have not subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so enable your notification button and like our videos so you get to know when your contents are uploaded thank you